Hey guys, it's Aaron. I wanted to take a look at some of these recently released as of this video, which is live components and how they are different from dynamic components. So I downloaded one of each, a dynamic stair and a live component stairs. I don't want to jump into how these specific components are authored. Um, there's so much flexibility in how you can create either. I don't really want to get into that. What I do want to take a look at is once it's created, how do you use a dynamic component versus a live component? Because there's some big differences. So let's hop in right now. Okay, so like I said, over here on the right, we have a dynamic component. And on the left, we have a live component. I want to take as much of the variable out of this. So we're looking at it monochrome. I got rid of all the colors. Colors can be adjusted, added in either one. So I didn't want that to be a big piece. The other thing I don't want to harp on too much is how they're actually built. So here I have a true monolithic piece. Here I actually have uh, treads or separate pieces from the, the bottom. That, that can all be changed in how the component is tailored. The important piece, the piece I really want to look at the most is once I have this in my model, how does it react differently? So the dynamic component, if I want to come in and manipulate this, I'm going to right click on it, go down to dynamic components and bring up my options. This is going to show me my authoring options. So I want to change something based on how this component was set up. I would change that through here. With the live component, if I right click, I get the option to configure live component. If I click on that, it pulls up the live component UI. It does have to load this. It's not the dynamic component runs as an extension right inside SketchUp. The live component actually accesses the live component database. Uh, so it does take a second longer to load it up right now. Once it loads, the UI is the same here uh, as it was on 3D Warehouse. So here's a big difference right here. So if I was to make changes to say the width of these stairs, as I slide this back and forth, you can see, look, at it changes actively, right? So as I'm sliding this, I can actually see that change. That's what a difference from dynamic components, because if I pick on a dynamic component and I go to width and it's not a slider, it is a number, that's, that's not the important part. But if I change this to say 1500, I have to come in here and apply that before it will update. So again, the resizing to the left versus the right, that's all how it's set up. The important part here to note is that it is not going to update as I make changes. I do have to hit apply each time I want to apply a change. So again, not a huge deal, but there is a difference there. All right, so another big thing is components, like everything in SketchUp, uh, need to be changed, resized, that sort of thing. With dynamic components, you actually have the ability to add in and control how scale is used. So in a dynamic component, I can tell it that I want to give the user the ability to scale or not scale based on how that's authored. Live components, as of now, don't give that ability. So if I hit scale, it just turns itself off. See that? So it says scale and it goes okay give me a select a thing that you want to scale and if you hover over you can actually see you get the little no symbol no scaling this item so i can't i have to use i have to lean a little heavier on the live component ui to make changes i can't use the the what i'd call probably a brute force method of just forcing things to resize like i can with the dynamic component speaking of which if I was to, I'm going to close this. If I was to double click on a dynamic component, I come into the dynamic component and I can actually start coming through here and seeing the pieces that make up the dynamic component. So a dynamic component is a series of components inside another component that has controls on there and all the resizing happens from the UI. But I can come in here and I can manipulate, if I want to, individual pieces. So if I wanted to make that step smaller for some reason, I could actually do that. Granted, if I was to come in here and make a change to the dynamic component data, it would redraw the whole thing and it would go back to normal. Um, but I do have the ability to edit it using SketchUp tools. If I come to the live component and I double click, the only thing that happens is the live component UI pops up. 
I can't actually enter a container of a live component and make changes. All the editing that is to be done to this component has to happen through the live component window. Now, of course, there's a way around that. So if I choose to, if I want to abandon this as a live component, I can right click and I can say detach definition. That says cut the ties to live components and just make this a regular component. Now I can double click. I can come in here. I can choose these different pieces. I can move in here and, and, and make changes, whatever I wanted to do. At this point, it's just a nested component. It's similar to what I could, I could do the same kind of thing here by just right clicking and exploding. And now this is no longer a dynamic component. This is now just a bunch of pieces. So there is a point where you can cut ties with the controls, be they live components or dynamic components. Those are all the pieces or the differences or, or, or thoughts on how to use those two pieces that I can come up with. Um, both of them are still great. Uh, as of this recording, you can, as a SketchUp Pro user, author dynamic components, live components are still in SketchUp Labs. So they still are being worked on as far as how they're gonna be authored by users. So I didn't get into authoring intentionally, uh, but I did want to think about how to actually go about using them in your SketchUp model. So hopefully you like that. If you did like it, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos every single week here, and you'll be notified of each and every one if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, leave us a comment down below. What do you think of live components? Do you miss dynamic components? Not that they went anywhere. Do you like dynamic components? <laughs> leave us a comment. We make most, if not all, of our content based on comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.